Look at that. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, man. That cheesecake is so, so good. Wow. Look at it. Man, if you want to see how to make these, you got to stick around and watch this video. This cheesecake is like the bomb. So, stick around and watch how to make these. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. I think I got a really cool recipe coming up for you. I thought I'd show you. Um, so, one of my favorite things is cheesecake. Um, the holiday season is coming up. You're going to have events that you can go to. They're going to want to have you bring something. So this is a, something that I think that you could bring to any celebration over the holidays and it would be more than welcome. I'm going to do it a little bit different just because of the fact that uh, I want to try to control the portion sizes for myself. Um, anyway, um, so I'm going to do it a little different. So, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a chocolate cheesecake. So that's what we're going to make. So pretty simple recipe, pretty easy recipe. This original recipe comes from Carol Ketchum over at All Day I Dream About Food. If you haven't seen her channel and or gone over to her website, probably go to her website. She, she says she's more of a blogger than she's a YouTuber. Um, go over to her website and check it out. She has the most amazing recipes um, in the world. I go over there and check out recipes all the time because... She's, she's just she's got the great recipes over there so so I love going over there I love stealing them now I made some changes to this one from what she did um, being on keto for so long is what I have I will tell you a lot of times when I follow people's recipes I find out that they're way too sweet for me so I cut usually cut back of the sugar or the sweetener a little bit um, and then I make some other changes as well you know you got to do what are you got to do for your taste so hopefully you'll do the same thing with this as well so um, I am a little bit behind on catching up on the website, so some recipes. Um, I'm trying to put the link down there for them on the website. Um, i got to get caught up on them, so um, um, I'll try to do that here in the next week or two. i got some time off coming up with Thanksgiving. Hopefully by then we can get all caught up and everything else. So, um, hopefully before then, but <laughs> I've been pretty busy so with work and everything else going on. So. Um, Hey, but hopefully you're going to stick around and you're going to watch this video because I think if you like cheesecake and if you love chocolate cheesecake, you're going to like this. If you let me know what's, what's your favorite kind of cheesecake, you go to the Cheesecake Factory or go to your local uh, delicatessen and or um, somewhere that sells cheesecake. What's your favorite kind of cheesecake? Um, and let me know down below. Maybe we'll try to make uh, that for you as well if we haven't already made it or have that recipe out there. It's a beautiful day here. The windows are open. The doors are open. It's about 70 degrees here. So hopefully we don't get too much noise from no noise from planes and cars and all that good stuff. So, but let's get started here. So real quick, like um, when I get a little into it, we'll change the position of the camera too. But right now, I think this is okay. Um, really, really simple. We're going to make the crust first. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take some almond flour. And those of you who can't use almond flour, I'm sorry, but I'm sure that we could do it with coconut flour. I'd have to play with the recipe a little bit. So I'm going to take one cup, one cup of blanched almond flour. Now, if you want to, you can strain it and sift it. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. I'm hoping that this comes out good. Again, um, like I said, one of the things I find comes out a little bit too sweet for me is um, the sugar. So <clears throat> I'm not going to put as much sugar in there. I'm only going to put an eighth of a teaspoon of sugar in. So that's all I'm going to put in. And then I had to go down and I had to run out of cocoa, my last recipe that I ran that made some chocolate stuff out of. Um, for that cake, so I had to go buy some. Man, this stuff is not cheap. I gotta go back to Costco and get some. So again, I, I also cut back a little bit because cocoa has, a, a, um, to me anyway, has a, a habit of being a little bit better, bitter. So that's why if you cut back on the sugar, you gotta be careful about the cocoa because it is bitter. And if you uh, leave it up there, um, you may find that it gets a little bit bitter in the crust, and that's not what I want. I want it to be nice and tasteful, taste chocolatey. 
All right. But not overly sweet. At least that's the way I want it anyway. Um, you can do it the way you like it. So maybe you make it. You want to add more sugar to it. You want to add more cocoa to it. Help yourself. So, and then I'm going to put in, and this is a quarter cup of butter, melted butter. You know, the only time about in the summertime when it's really hot out and it's warm out, you know, the butter butter melts and it stays melted a really long time. Now that it's cooling down a little bit, um, it's tough to put butter out on the on the counter and soften it or cream cheese. It doesn't soften as well <laughs> as it does when it's in the summertime. So that's one of the, I guess, the minuses from 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 that. So all I'm going to do here is all I'm going to do is just mix that all together, and we're going to push this in just to get everything all combined really nice, and it starts to form like a dough texture to it. Once we get that, what we're going to do next, next is we're going to take a little bit of each one of these. I think that's pretty good. You, know, you don't want it too soft, you want it cakey. It's my counter, I'm going to eat it. So. <laughs> So I'm going to take a spoon, and what I, like I said, for portion control, if you saw the other ones, I've done cheesecake bites before, mini cheesecakes, and that's what we're going to do again. So i got a pan of 12, so what I'm going to do is I'm just taking, basically, putting these in here. Oh, before I get started, I'm going to turn my oven on 350, um, let me double check that, 325. And get that going just so when we get done. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to press this in here. And sometimes it's easier for me to take it out of here and press it in here when it's like this. And then I can kind of fold it up the edges a little bit too as well and it makes it more like a cup. So that when I put the cheesecake in there it actually holds in there. So that's kind of what I'm looking for is a nice pressed in uniform um, coating of the chocolate. So I'm going to do that for all 12 of these just like that. And then I put it back in here and when I push it down, like I said, it kind of forms like a nice cup in it. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do that for all of them now. Um, so I will come back in a minute and I'll show you back um, all 12 of them and what they look like. Alright, so all my cups are full. I got 12 of them. What they look like. So pretty nice. Now I'm going to throw this in the oven. I'm going to throw them in there for about 10 minutes and uh, let them bake. And we'll come back in 10 minutes and, and we'll talk about uh, now that we made the crust, what are we put, going to put in it? Alright, I'll see you in the next segment. All right, I repositioned the camera a little bit. Hopefully it's a good angle. Everything looks okay. Now I'm gonna beat the uh, the cream cheese. I got 24 ounces of cream cheese in here. Um, I'm gonna actually I hope this is smooth enough so I can beat it. So I'm gonna beat that until I get it fluffy without throwing it all over myself. sometime in the near future. Oh, I got a piece that went flying on the floor here. <laughs> I'll throw that one in the trash. Uh, so, 
So I ended up uh, I'm actually going to push it down on the sides here a little bit too and get it all out of here because we're going to be mixing some other stuff with it. Again, this is one of those things where the summertime it gets the you know, the cream cheese gets nice, it's soft. This time of year where it's nice and cool out and it's beautiful temperatures outside, but not necessarily good for softening up butter and cream cheese and stuff. So, so but we're gonna knock some stuff out of here. All right. All right, so next we're going to put in some sweetener in here. Um, again, the sweetener that I'm going to put in here is probably a little less than what it says in the recipe. Um, so I'm going to put in a, um, I'm going to put in a little less. So I'm going to put in two thirds of a cup of uh, sweetener in here. If it says in here to put a whole cup in there, I, I think it's. I think that's too much so you know again you got to, to, to put it in there to what you think it is and what you think it is um, I know I made some frosting a little while ago that was it really tasted good but it was a little too sweet for me so um, I'd like to be able to cut that back a little bit and then I need a teaspoon which I don't have out here Well, this is some vanilla. I'm going to put some vanilla in here as well. Get that in here and get it all set up. Well, let's see, what else am I missing? Um, and then I got three eggs I'm going to put in here as well. Let's mix in with this. And then we're going to beat it again. So it'll be like Michael Jackson say, beat it, beat it. Now I have an egg that was a little bit cracked. I'm a little apprehensive about using it, so I think I'm not going to use it. Though. You know. So I'm going to put three eggs in here. mix this back up again and I need something to wipe my hands off with I should just take a roll of paper towels and put them next to me so all right so I'm gonna mix this in I'm gonna actually knock some of this off here knock that off let's mix this all up Get this incorporated. the sides and wipe them down again I get all that egg goodness in there right. it's starting to look pretty good everything I think uh, we're putting in it at the moment well I shouldn't say that because we're putting more into it now so I think that's that's once we get all this mixed up now we're gonna put the cocoa powder into it and we're gonna put some heavy cream into it and beat that so again I'm putting in about half of the cocoa that what she had said to do And this is the heavy cream. I'm gonna shake it up just a tad bit. All 
This is about a third of a cup. I will mix this up by hand just a little bit because if you mix it up with the beater right now, the cocoa is going to go flying all over the place. Um, All right, I'm thinking All right, so I'm going to take the uh I'm going to take the fork and just kind of incorporate the the cocoa so it doesn't go flying and we don't have a big dust cloud. All right, let me get this all court incorporated. We'll come right back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all incorporated. All right, so it's all mixed in. And the last thing we're going to put in here is we're going to actually put some chocolate in here. This is melted chocolate. So I melted it. I put in a tablespoon of butter with four ounces of chocolate um, and melted it. Hopefully it's okay. It's not too solid. Um, kind of a little bit leery, but... So that's that four ounces of chocolate with a tablespoon of butter in it. Then we're gonna beat it all up again. Scrape down the sides here one time. You can see that it's starting to get more a gel-like consistency, so it, it's looking a little firmer than it was. pretty good to me that looks really makes taste really good to me so I'm gonna pop these out so I can clean them off a little now let me uh, I'm gonna come back I'm gonna we're gonna pause for a second let me set everything all up and we'll come back in a second and let me <laughs> get the other pan over here and I'll show you what we're gonna do next all right so what I'm gonna do next is uh, boy my counter my my counter in my kitchen now looks like a disaster area. So. <laughs> but my wife's not home, so she's going to love it when she gets home. So, uh, Anyway, um, what I'm going to do next is I took the crust out. This is cooled down. They're pretty stiff in there. They're cooked pretty well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of these, and I'm going to put the, the cheesecake filling into the pans. I'm not sure this is the right method or not, but... It works. So, and I would say it looks like I may have a lot left over. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to fill these up. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like all filled up in the next segment. And we'll talk about putting them in the oven, what we're going to do. All right, so here they are. You can see I got a bunch left over. So what you're not going to see me, you're not going to see me do, but I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a couple more crusts. I'm going to make a little more crust, and I think I'm going to make another pan. And so I'll finish these off and then make about, uh, looks like probably probably six more, um, something like that. So I think that's that's the plan for these. Um, I'm going to throw these in the oven. Um, I turn the oven down to 300 degrees. I'm going to turn these down. I'm, I'm going to yeah. I turn these I'm going to throw these in the oven. Jeez, I can't talk this today. So I'm going to throw these in the oven. I'm going to check these about 
at about 30 to 40 minutes to see how they're doing. You know, regular cheesecake take 50 to 60 minutes. Um, these are smaller, so I'm not thinking they're going to take as long. So I'm going to put these in the oven. We're going to let these go. I'm going to set my timer. And now would be the perfect time for everybody to go down there and hit that subscribe button, right? So um, right now about 70 or 75% of them, the viewers on this channel are not subscribed to the channel. If you're coming over there and viewing it, it would be great if you could subscribe. It would be really, really appreciated. So go down there and hit that subscribe button or hit that little uh, um, YouTube um, down in the corner. I'm not sure which corner it's in. I think it's in this corner or this is the corner down here, right here. Uh, or over here so there's a little uh, subscribe button down there so go down there and check it out so um, I think the content is great hopefully you're enjoying it again you know what's your favorite cheesecake let me know um, also have some channel membership down there so if you'd like shout outs on channels as well so um, as well as if you'd like recipes mailed to you or um, some other benefits and perks like that there let me know um, check it out it's pretty pretty cheap dirt cheap and it uh, uh, helps me finance with some of these uh, cooking experiments that I do as well as some of the cooking things that we do. Again, this cheesecake is, like I said, this is for us to consume. So um, I've modified it to our liking a lot. If I was taking it to work, I may up the sweetening sweetener a little bit just because of the fact, um, because if I'm serving to others, they have sweet tooth, they may want a sweeter um, cheesecake than what I would have so but anyway um, we'll come back in the next segment and we'll check out how, how this uh, cheesecake comes out right and we'll talk about what we're gonna do after that all right they're done so we took them in uh, um, after we took them out of the oven let them cool down put them in the refrigerator for a few minutes we sprinkled some uh, these ones have white chocolate sprinkled on them as well as there's a couple on a single plate over here so this is it for the taste test um, so that's kind of what they look like. Um, we'll see how soft they are in the center. Um, I got more. The other six are in the oven baking for another 30 minutes. So we'll wait and do that. Um, the other thought was that we could either make a, a, a frosting on it. Um, so you could do a whipped cream chocolate frosting, whipped cream um, topping with a chocolate on it or something of that nature. Or you could, if you were uh, lazy like me, you could get some of the chocolate zero like this. Um, and you could kind of put it on there very sparingly. If you heat this up, it, it flows pretty good. Otherwise, it clumps pretty good. So you got to kind of get it warm to, to really spread really good. So um, this chocolate syrup is good stuff. So it tastes really good. So, um, so that's kind of what it looks like. So let's kind of do the taste test. And uh, then we'll talk a little bit about the macros here. So I'll peel this down. Let me bring it over so you can kind of see it. Not kind of, so you can't see it. Get out of the picture. So you can see the chocolate crust layer in there with the uh, cheesecake on the top. Now the cheesecake came out pretty good. Um, I will tell you, it took about 40 minutes for it to bake these. If you were making a regular cheesecake, it would probably take an hour. And again, the cheesecake, to be honest with you, I don't know, most cheesecakes, if I'm going to bake them, i got to put in a water bath in them, so that otherwise they crack or whatever, so, um, but this one I didn't, they seem to hold up pretty good, so let's give it a taste. Mmm, mmm, wow, oh, it's really good. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, we had a power outage. <laughs> so turn it around. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sure. That was special effects. So, anyway, it's really good. That's really good. Oops. I got to push down. I think when this is warm, I, I, it may be better to push the, uh, the white chocolate into it. So, But it's really good. It's really good. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, those are really, really good. So, that maybe when they first come out, maybe it'd be a good time to put that white chocolate in, um, really push it down in, and 
then let it melt into the uh, the white chocolate and I mean into the chocolate the, the cheesecake that's really really good though um so let me i gotta grab this hold on a second i got the macros written down here all right so just to kind of go through this now this does not have a chocolate frosting on here um and i cut back on on some of the on some of the sweetener sorry about that i just trying to clean up the space here um so the macros on here are probably a little, a little bit different from what I'm going to tell you. I think they're a little bit lower. You got to remember, sweetener has, um, have if you're doing total carbs, sweetener has total carbs in it. So um, I, th I think a, a quarter teaspoon, quarter uh, quarter cup of uh, uh, erythritol um, has like a four four total carbs in it. So just so you know, um, so this comes out to be about 300 calories per. Um, Per cheesecake bite, um, the carbs in it, total carbs in it is about nine. I'm going to say probably closer to seven. I got to re-enter the macros in here um, to put them in because we did not put the chocolate frosting on the top of them like we we're supposed to. Um, the, the fiber, the protein on them is about nine. The fat on them is about 29. Um, and the fiber is about, about four. So if you're doing net carb, there are about five net carbs in one of these. But man, I'll tell you, these are really, really good. This is a great treat. So again, if you take this to um, an office party or something of that nature, or if you make a cake out of it and take it to an office party or something like that, they're never, ever going to know that it's keto or it's keto friendly. Um, and they're going to think that you're you're having a cheat day and you're not. So um, just a, it's a great option. It's one of my favorites. I love chocolate. I love cheesecake, so what better to put them together? And like I said, you can do so many different things with the topping, um, so it's great. <clears throat> hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more great videos like this <clears throat> before my voice goes on me, um, watch this video over here and click this Alan's Awesome uh, Keto World button over here as well to make sure that you don't miss other great videos that are coming out as well. So <clears throat> you guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video.